Hi friends, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day seven, which is the final day of my Bambi's Summer Bash series. If you missed the first six videos, I will have those linked down below so you can check them out. In today's video, we will be making the base of a traveler's notebook. This has been a highly requested tutorial. I want to give credit to Shara Crane since she is the one who inspired me to make these traveler's notebooks. I have so much fun making them. She makes hers so beautifully and I will leave her links down below so be sure to check those out. So to start, I am taking six pieces of pattern paper. I'm using double-sided paper. You can use whichever you want. And my papers measure eight by eight inches. I'm going to just fold them in half. And then I am going to also take some additional pages. So you can just use these six pages, totally up to you. I just want to add some more character to my notebook. So I'm going to take some different shapes and sizes. So I have this circle page that measures just under eight inches in diameter. I cut it with my Cricut, but you can use any circular object like a bowl or a plate um, to cut yours. I also have some random scrap papers of different sizes that I'm going to include as well. I will leave the measurements for those down below in the description box if you want to make this um, traveler's notebook page for page. So now I'm just going to add all of my pages together in the order that I want them to be in. So I'm just stacking all of my papers and then I'm just looking through it to make sure that this is how I want it to look in the end, making sure that everything is lined up nicely. So now for the cover before I actually stitch my book together, I'm going to just add some more texture to the cover. This is another idea that Shara Green inspired. So shout out to her. I love when she rips paper and then adds it to the cover of her projects. It looks so cool, <laughs> um, for lack of a better word. I just love how it looks. So that is what I'm doing here. I did that on my previous tra uh, traveler's notebooks and I've done it on other projects as well and I just love how it looks. So I'm just taking some leftover paper from um, cutting my pages down to size and I am just going to tear them messily and then I'm going to layer them up one on top of the next and then I am going to use some temporary adhesive which is just a little glue stick um, and just I'm applying the tiniest amount because I don't want to gum up the needle on my sewing machine and then I'm going to uh, just adhere them down so that they stay in place so I can stitch around them and I'm adding these torn paper pieces to the front cover of my traveler's notebook as well as the back. I just like how it looks so I like to add it to the front and back cover for extra texture. So I added them to the front and I'm going to add them to the back and I'm just layering them one on top of the next and then I'm going to trim off my excess paper that I have peeking over the edges. Then I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to stitch these into place and I'm also going to stitch along the edges of all of my pages just to add texture. This is an optional step. If you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to worry about that. If you do, it's such a fun way to take a project up another notch. So now that I have all of my pages stitched and texturized, I'm going to actually hand stitch my book together. So I think this is the question people have most often when they are asking how I put these traveler's notebooks together. And I just saddle stitched by hand on all of my notebooks. So first things first, I'm going to take a ruler and a pencil and I'm going to mark at every half inch down the length of my book. And this will be where I will be um, poking holes with my awl and then I will be stitching through them. So at every half inch and then I'm going to take my awl. I got this with the We Are Memory Keepers book binding kit and I'm just going to poke some holes through the base of this notebook. Now this is sometimes a tedious process especially since I am using so many pages. So if you want 
an easier go at this. You can definitely just take some pages out. But I love a chunky book, so I just take my time and make sure that the holes are lined up and they're going through every page evenly. You can see that I used some binder clips to hold all of my pages in place. And I am just going up the length of my book, poking from the inside out at every half an inch. Now that I have those holes, I am going to start the stitching process. So I am going to thread my needle and then I'm going to start from the bottom hole in the inside and I'm going to go out and then I'm going to use some washi tape just to hold my little tail in place. My tail is about two and a half inches so that I can tie it off later. So a saddle stitch is really, really easy. All you have to do is go in and out basically. So we went out the first hole. So then we go back in the second, out the third, in the fourth, and we're just going to follow that process. So I left my little mishaps in this video. You'll see a few times that my string will twist and sometimes not, so I have to stop and undo those knots. It happens. I have it happen whenever I'm hand stitching any book together, Coptic books, uh, traveler's notebooks, any kind of project. I don't know why it happens. It just does. <laughs> so if you have any tips on how to avoid that, you can leave them down below for me. But um, I thought I would leave it in to show you that it's going to happen sometimes. Just take your time. And um, one thing that helps me is to kind of pull on the string and keep it straight as I'm stitching. So I'm continuing the process of stitching in and out of the holes. And once I get to the top hole, I am going to go out of it. And then now I'm going to start going in and out all the way back down the album. But now we're stitching from the outside instead of the inside. So one fun thing that you can do during the stitching process is you can add charms to these little stitches. Um, I've done that before on a different notebook I made, but for this one, I just decided to leave it blank. I love using a saddle stitch for these traveler's notebooks because you can't really see the stitching since it's right on the spine. So I kind of like that the stitching is hidden. So I'm still continuing the in and out process. And once we get to the very last hole, we are going to go in and out twice so that we can actually seal the stitch and then tie off the string. So you'll see what I mean here. We're going in and then we're going to go out and then we're going to go back in. So super easy. And once you've done that, you just need to trim your string and then you are going to tie a double knot. I think I did a triple knot here. I always just like to make it extra secure and then your album is together and you are ready to go and it's ready to be embellished and it's super easy to put this together once you get the stitching technique down. So before I embellish the rest of my album, I am adding an eyelet to the top left corner of my cover and then I am going to add some cute charms to the eyelet. So I have a little charm dangle I made over here. It is filled with paper tassels and charms from my stash. So I am adding a jump ring to the eyelet and then I am just adding my tassel to that. And here is a quick look at my finished traveler's notebook. You will see it is a chunky, chunky project, but I love how it turned out. I had so much fun working with this collection. So I added a big title on the front page. It says this sweet, beautiful life. And I also added some hand stitching elements and I will leave you guys here for the final flip through. Thank you so, so much for tuning in to today's video. Also, thank you if you have followed along with this series. I had so much fun coming up with all of these ideas and sharing them with you all. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will do my best to help you out. And until next time, I hope that you guys take care and have fun crafting. Bye.